I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're going to be doing a detailed comparison of the Chrome Industries Cadet versus the newly released Chrome Industries Cadet Mini. Let's dive in and check out the differences. Wanted to do a quick comparison of the Chrome Industries Mini Cadet with the Chrome Industries Cadet, the regular version. Full reviews on both of these over at packhacker.com. So if you want to see what fits inside and our thoughts on each of them, make sure to check it out. But this video is just going to serve as a quick comparison to see some of the key differences between the two slings. So kicking it off here with the Mini on the left, it's the black chrome. 22X material on both of them. So it is that same material and they have it in other colorways and materials as well. Now there are two small compression slash accessory, accessory straps down here at the bottom and that's going to enable you to attach like a, you know, umbrella or a jacket, whatever you'd like to do. And with the, the regular size version over here, we've got two at the bottom and then we've got two on the sides as well. So with that additional space on the sides, we're able to fit on compression strap on each side, which is great. All right, and then the front here, if we're just looking at the size of this front pocket, I'll just put them next to one another so you can kind of see. Zipper goes to about here on the Mini Cadet. So you're gonna have a little bit more space on the ordinary sized version. If I zip that open, pretty much the same on the inside. It's got this gray liner. For some reason with the patterning, the liner goes all the way to the top of the ordinary size version. Then on the Mini Cadet, it stops. Just something I noticed, not really something that's gonna affect your experience. But yeah, then if we're just gonna use this Yeti Rambler, 18 ounce, I'm just gonna show you. Looks like that'll fit inside the front of that one pretty well with a little bit of space on the outside. And then for the Mini Cadet, can't quite get it in all the way, but it's very close. So just to give you like a bit of a size comparison there on the water bottle. All right, and then we zip this back up and let's get to the strap on the back. So both have this U-lock pass-through system here where you can put a U-lock through. I found it surprisingly comfortable, honestly, but both of these are similar in size. Looks like the ordinary size cadet, it's just a little bit bigger. They, the U-lock fits well in both of these, so really nothing to worry about. And it is comfortable. Both have a, the same density of padding of foam on the back, so it's comfortable overall. Now, the straps here are different as well. So you can see on the Mini Cadet, it's a little bit thinner. I've got the Mini here and the regular size here. It's a little bit thinner or less wide. The thickness is similar though. Although the Cadet maybe feels like it has a little bit of a higher density foam, it's hard to tell. It's, they're well within, you know, close to one another though, there. Now, one of the big differences here is that there's no kind of classic chrome seatbelt buckle on the Mini Cadet either, which I think is fine. I think you can forego that overall. Um, both still have the bottle opener too, so you can open beverages, which is always a great touch. And then, yeah, same with the nylon webbing down here at the bottom. The Mini Cadet is a little bit more thin whereas the regular size cadet is a little bit wider as well. So you can just see the difference there. So a little more robust materials on this one. And then the biggest thing that I think the Mini is missing, and it's arguable whether or not it needs it, is a stabilizer strap. But the way that this carries, I really think it could benefit <clears throat> from a stabilizer strap. Even though slings of this size don't always need a stabilizer strap, I just think this Mini needs one based on the way it's designed. So you've got the stabilizer strap here on the ordinary size cadet. You throw that on the other side of your body. It keeps things really tight to you, especially as you're biking around, which is really nice. And let's check out the differences in the main compartment. That's about it for the outside. So let me pull this main compartment open. The mini is open and we're opening up the ordinary size cadet. Zipper pulls and zippers are pretty similar here. So not much of a difference there. Mini Cadet, you've got this wide open space, one big divider pocket here in the back, and then a smaller one on the side. And then the ordinary size Cadet, you've got one big divider pocket here, 
and then two smaller kind of pen pockets here, which are super deep. I mean, look how deep that is. Don't get your pen lost in there. And then, yeah, the rest is basically just this open space. So you can see width-wise, they're pretty similar. Not a lot of difference there. But let me just throw in, again, our trusty Yeti Rambler water bottle so you can see the difference there and how much extra space you've got at the bottom. And then for the Mini, we'll do the same. I personally like the Mini a little bit better. It's a better size for the items that I take with me. But again, that stabilizer strap is kind of a deal breaker because this, the Mini does carry a little bit weird. So the large is also a great option. But there you have it, the comparison of the Chrome Industries Mini Cadet versus the ordinary size Cadet. Head over to packhacker.com for reviews on both of these bags. We'll leave a link down in the YouTube description below that you can go check them out. And uh, they also include the best buying options that help support Packhacker at no additional cost to you. So we will see you in the next video.